That was a big one to have the physical vehicle in-house, getting a real idea of what we were up against, seeing things in person for the first time. This project's about to go from the two-dimensional world to the three-dimensional world. We're rolling, we're starting. It's beginning. I guess very first thing was just assessing the truck. The mechanics now have their work cut out. It's really where the integration starts. Uh, electrical's in right away, hydraulics are in right away. Everybody's looking at where all these parts gonna fit. This will be a kind of a delicate surgery. We're gonna put it to sleep. We're gonna do a, a bunch of plastic surgery and then we're gonna wake it back up and hopefully it doesn't know what we did to it, is the plan. <laughs> How do you guys think teardown is gonna go? Do you think it'll... Teardown is pretty straightforward. Teardown is pretty straightforward. We've seen all of this in CAD, so now we're doing a comparison to make sure it matches. There's a lot of bracketry and hoses and clips and wiring harnesses and stuff. And those things are in our way. Brake lines going across cross members we have to cut and things like that. So, you know, just little things that get in the way, such as this, that'll, you know, move elsewhere. And then obviously all the stock suspension and everything is going to be removed and all new components re added. We are, are more of a laboratory environment, and that's a, a difficult place to find previous experience in. So my role here at KXI is to support this vehicle in any way as needed. So that's from disassembly, fabrication, testing, any general support, anything, anywhere this vehicle goes, I'll be going. Peter brought actually a military and heavy duty background so he very quickly got immersed into the deep, dark trenches of this, of this teardown. I joined the military, where it was basically all heavy duty, but you work on anything from like chainsaws to tanks. His understanding of maintenance schedules, repair schedules, things like that on this type of equipment quickly became valuable to us in the fact that we don't see this as a lifted pickup truck. We, we see this much like the military would see one of their vehicles. Very big day today. Product has made the long waited journey all the way from France. It's in a box. The box looks in one piece. So we are super excited to crack this thing open and see what's been basically over a year's development. My name is Marlon Taves and I am a professional engineer. Marlon is an indispensable uh, asset to the organization as the automotive design engineer. He really ushered in a, a, a new standard for us for the conceptual design of this technology. His fingerprints are all over that design and we believe he's made it robust enough to be able to scale up potentially as much as two vehicle classes. Our hydraulic specialist through this process has been Paul from Arbutus. He's been an integral part of the team, especially being the middle guy between mechanical. That's probably the largest overlay in the systems was mechanical to hydraulics. So what we're doing here this week for basically the next three days is getting all the hydraulics routed, plumbed, and uh, corner tested. This will basically be the, the big milestone in having all the hydraulics mostly finished up, 100% mounted where things will go. Yeah, this is probably one of the larger components that really make this vehicle what it is. So every, everything that's in the front here is all exactly the same as what's in the back. The only difference is it's a little tighter here, so we had to change the mounting orientation. So it's just uh, customizing it to each situation. So we had to cut out this whole structure, plate it for strength, and widen it out again. A lot of the custom componentry was built in town. Uh, we we're fortunate enough to have quite a few skilled fabrication shops. So we ended up working with Pacific Industrial Solutions. Uh, Frizo and his team are quite adapted doing the weird and wonderful. So these guys are right in the middle of finalizing a lot of the welding and fabricating for us. So we're here just checking out the progress. We're making sure all the dimensions and the tolerances look correct. And we're hoping to get all this stuff off the powder coat and back in our shop next week for installation.
position two degrees off could be uh, a bolt hole being off by you know three quarters of an inch. So it's very, very specific. Every single tolerance adds up and they all have to align to make sure this bolts to the truck. Frieza and his team are making them happen and uh, it's making the engineers very happy. <laughs> That's good. Today, we test fit our upper front cradle, our lower front cradle, as well as our brand new front closing cross member. So the three of those components are tying what will be the structure of the new front end to hang the suspension off of. There's a little bit of uh, fitting and maneuvering. The fact that it's actually bolting in and the bolts are going in is 95% of the way there. The other 5% is just some measurements and finessing. It's good, right? <laughs> it is. Like, it fits perfect. It fits nice. By the end of the day, we want to have the rear diff in the cradle, upper and lower cradle, and the whole thing mounted to the, to the rear of the truck. Time for lots of loud noise. Today we're installing the upper control arms. They uh, came from fabrication, all checked out. So basically we just have to get the upper bar pin mount correct. And uh, we're just mocking everything up, making sure our angles are correct. And uh, we're gonna bolt the upper control arm kind of while it's floating together. And then uh, we'll be able to set our angles because we have some critical angles here that we need to make sure match top and bottom and the side to side, just for our camber and caster. But uh, we'll bolt it up here quickly, make sure our angles are correct, tack everything in, and then uh, our fabricator and his welder, they're gonna come here and finish weld just a couple components that we have on the front end. And uh, we'll rebolt it in after, test fit the strut. Now that the control arms and everything are in, this will basically just slide in. That's you can let off, it's not gonna go anywhere. This is our passenger front wheel end but uh, it's just the complete assembly, the plantier gear set, brakes and everything. This goes on, a couple bolts, and then the uh, wheels go right on. <laughs> Mechanical pieces wise, we have all the steering linkages to put in. This, that's why the tire kind of just floats around, is because there's no steering whatsoever hooked up. We have some brake lines just to put to the end and some drive shafts. So now it's basically verifying that the electric system works with the hydraulic system and integrates properly. Most of the truck side of the uh, harness is terminated. Now I'm working on the CAN bus system just for diagnostics. So it has to tie everything together, send signals back and forth and a couple more hours of the uh, harness going together and uh, then we're going to get it in the truck. But this is like the rough run of the approximate routing, just so we can figure out kind of lengths and everything like that. Uh, Brent will then take it from there, terminate all the ends, and then probably do some basic testing while nothing's wrapped, just so that there is a problem, we can diagnose it easier. And then after everything's tested, verify that it works, it'll all be pulled out again, wrapped properly so that the elements can't damage it, and then reinstalled. This is the backbone harness for uh, the control system that uh, integrates into the OEM unit. So every sensor, every switch, everything we put in uh, electrically is gonna be controlled by, by this. 
probably another day of solid wiring, but we're getting close. You gotta be in there. <laughs> this is going to be the first hydraulic fire up. We've hooked up a simulation of our cylinders, basically cycling them manually one at a time. We're doing it on a standalone power unit, but we are going to put hydraulic pressure to this truck for the very first time. So, first plug in, we're running blood through it, see what happens. Finally received the struts last night. We've got all four struts in. The final hoses are going on as we speak. Uh, Paul is building them up. Then we're going to make it go up and down. We didn't pop champagne. We've got the champagne on ice for a bigger milestone. Well, we put the truck down under its own weight for the first time. We've just vented the hydraulic system to check the oil level and gonna fill that up. But uh, yeah, we're ready to, ready to roll it off the hoist here real quick. I'm, uh, I'm on pins and needles, but uh, it's, these things take time. The, uh, the control system is very nuanced, very uh, specialized, and, it, and we have experts here. We're making sure it's exactly right, so that's okay. I'm worth, it's worth the extra time, and it will be excellent. Oh yeah. Our babies come out of the incubator and we're trying to get it to crawl. I think now every, all these guys deserve, uh, deserve to see this thing in motion. Yeah, we're ready to take it outside. I'm <laughs> very, very excited. <laughs> all good? I thought the test run went uh, quite well. We saw a lot of promising uh, performance, but it's really tip of the iceberg for us. We know what uh, this vehicle should be capable of and we're excited about getting there.